I hope this isn't another lecture. See, I'm not gonna let you do that anymore. Do what? Walk away from me, deflect. End a conversation because you don't feel like having it. I do. And new day, remember? Truthful, honest, open. What are you doing with Johnny Zakara? I like him. He understands me. You're having sex with him? If I am, it's okay. I'm legal. I can't believe you just said that to me. First Kiefer, then Ethan, and now you're going out with a guy who's 10 years older than you and a criminal. My father is a criminal and that didn't stop you. Hey. Johnny may be in the same business as dad, but that's where the comparison stops. Dad is a horrible person. He abuses women, he ruined Michael's life, and Johnny is the only person who doesn't make excuses for him. He's honest. He calls dad out on exactly who and what he is. And I think that's great. I think Johnny's great, and I don't need permission from anyone to see him. Any chance you came clean with Olivia and all as well? No. She's gone, she ain't ever coming back. That's definite? Oh, yeah. She thinks I've become what I set out to destroy. That's a quote, by the way. Well, can you really blame her for saying that? She thinks you're banging a 17-year-old to get back at her father? You didn't tell her otherwise? No. Why? She came through that door, she already had her mind made up. Your Sonny got to her first. Always comes down to Sonny. Look, you obviously love Olivia, all right? Unless something's changed. I love her with all my heart, more then, than anything. Then come clean, man. I mean, tell her the truth. Tell her this is a twisted teenage fantasy that's spiraling out of control. I guess it's time to let go. Stop delaying the inevitable. What do you mean, inevitable? Olivia and I don't love each other the same. She... She has all of my heart. And I only got the piece of hers that doesn't belong to Sonny. Olivia. Yeah. What's wrong? Me. Me. I was wrong. You were right and I was wrong about Johnny. Christina? Yes. I just saw them at his penthouse. They're there together. Did Johnny put his no, hands on my no, daughter? No, no, he, wasn't, he wasn't touching her. Okay, they were very close. He wasn't touching her, but she was all kicked back on his couch with a glass of wine in her hand. <sighs> Obviously very comfortable there. And that wasn't even the thing, though, Sonny. It was the look in his eyes. I could see it. There's this reckless, this reckless mode that he gets into when he doesn't give a damn about anything about except the thing that is driving him. And right now, that is his hatred for you. Okay, and his need to avenge Claudia, he doesn't give a damn about anything else. I think that he is capable of using your daughter. And I am sorry. I am so, so sorry. You got nothing to apologize for. You put your faith in the wrong guy. It, it happens. It hurts. You get you get past it. My faith wasn't misplaced. Sorry, Johnny is a genuinely good guy. I know that you can't see it, but he is kind and loving and open. It just all gets overpowered by his freaking mob garbage and the family insanity and now his massive hate on for you. It just breaks my heart. Well, I don't like seeing you know seeing you like this. I feel bad that. You're hurting. I appreciate your saying so. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to do this in a different way. Do you got any advice on how to get Johnny away from my daughter, from someone who knows him? I do, but I don't know if it's going to be possible. You got to let it be. You're not serious, right? Yes. Okay, but... I'm serious. Uh, if you go after Johnny right now, that's exactly what he wants. 
Son, he doesn't care if he dies as long as it makes your kid hate you more than she already does because he knows how bad that will hurt you. And right now he wants to hurt you. Okay, if you want to beat John at this, you got to show some restraint. Okay, you got to leave it alone. Olivia was the last thing I thought was going to happen that night that I went into Jake's. You met her at Jake's? Yeah. We were both fed up with our lots in life at our wit's end. So we got drunk and ended up back at her place. It was supposed to just be a one-night stand, but I don't know, from the start, man, she got to me, you know? She's funny, ballsy. I love the way she looked, the way she smelled. I love the fact that she was older. <laughs> and I guess she found a few things to like about me, too. So we started dating. She and I, we fell in love so much that I honestly thought that one day we would we'd have a future, you know. And Olivia wasn't ever dishonest with me. She told me that she still had feelings for Sonny from her past. And I thought I could deal with that. I thought I could learn to live with it. When the truth came out, that Sonny is Dante's father, I knew our days were numbered.